up guys, it's like a 26 and let's see, this is a, hmm, I'm deciding which one should it be. As, let's go with the Gale Strike update. Since it's right here. Um, pretty much, the models are almost completed. Surprisingly enough, I've, sorry about that. Uh, surprisingly enough, I've done this within uh, about a week. I started this last week. And all the parts are painted, they're off the tree, and pretty much what I'm doing is, uh, some of the parts, like for instance, let's see, oh, let's do this. Shield's completed. Orange, white, and a purple. I didn't have a, uh, dark navy blue, so the only color I had left was a, uh, purple, so... And it kind of goes well with the colors. Here's like a little sample of all the colors. Purple, orange, and a uh, blue. So let's see how that comes out. Hopefully it comes out well. If not, eh, oh well. It's like one of those things, color scheme wise, uh, it's kind of a hit and miss sometimes. But uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh! Chest is almost completed. Very nice though. It's the orange, purple and white. And backpack and all that weathering type uh, paint chip. Very nice. Like this came this uh, model came out nice while I was rushing. And um it's not much I can show you. This is all a bunch of uh, parts just thrown in here, but um, I have done a little bit of a assembly type thing. There's the arm, and I'm still trying to learn how to do a silver weathering by using a wash of gunmetal and a little bit of soot, but I'll try to figure it out. But anyway, um, not much to show, uh, it's, right now it's just a bunch of uh, parts just thrown together, but I might start with the helmet since, um, finish those eyes, which are a fluorescent green, came out, well, I think it came out nice, there we go. Fluorescent green. Put that back. And I don't know, for some reason or another, Strike Gundams like to have a gap right there. I don't know why, but it seems to be a common theme with all the Strike Gundams. But oh well. Uh, I have to say, it's a panel line. Anyway, so I did that, and today I uh, pretty much uh, put that uh, face cream on the, all the parts, all the blue parts today. As you can see, this is a sword, and careful, it's a little bit wet here. There's a hilt, and you can see some of the face cream is coming off right there. Oh well, it's supposed to come off anyway. And the biggest thing are the shoulder pieces. All blue. So, pretty much, uh, that's pretty much what I did for this update. I just want to put this update out there it's for y'all guys to see uh, what's to come for the mall show. Which is this Saturday. Oh my god! Anyway. Um. Throw in some random parts there for y'all to see. Anyway. Um. If anyone. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to put much up this week. Just this video, and then that'll be it. So. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my hands. School. Models and Marshall. <laughs> 
And I kind of uh, stole this from uh, Screaming Samurai Studios. Uh, if you guys don't know him, go check him out. Uh, he does uh, very nice, very uh, nice uh, Star Trek and Star Wars models. So there will be a link on the bottom or the side, where it's going to be. I don't know. Just look in the description bar, and you'll find a link to his channel. So uh, you got to thank me. I have to thank him by doing that for giving me this. This is a base for one is a uh, Enterprise. But anyway. I'm just rambling on now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys maybe, maybe if not Saturday or maybe this week. I don't know. Anyway, see you guys later.